hello uh, welcome to my youtube channel in today's lecture or session we will try to make an object detection and tracking system here is the output of the football match they, we, that we are going to use to test our model at the end of the project so in this you can see uh, we have ball player one uh, team one and team two and the number it is assigning uh, that is used to track the player so here uh, cristiano ronaldo the ball is uh, with cristiano ronaldo and our model is tracking him so another video so actually it's a complete video so uh, you can see uh, the number is assigning to every player to track that player specifically so let's build uh, this model so first uh, we will go to our file or uh, we will go to collab and then we will open our uh, python file so first we will connect with our google drive this is the script that is used to connect with our google drive uh, these are some of the additional step uh, that i uh, that i've used in this project first i am importing the operating system library uh, then i am uh, then i have saved this string to my path variable and then using operating system i am printing all the directory inside this path so then I am changing the directory to this first change directory to football player then I am I am creating YOLO v5 strong start actually we are using here YOLO v8 uh, right so uh, we are creating a directory make directory os.mkdir means creating a directory if the directory is already exist then this print statement will execute then uh, we have changed our directory to this folder that uh, we have made above mm, yolo v5 so then we are printing present working directory uh, which is yolo v5 strong start from content till then we are cloning a repository and from that we will use both the detector and the tracker so michael brostrom and actually he has used yolo v8 but the repository is repository name is yolo v5 so that's why we are cloning with his repository so git clone command is used to connect uh, yeah to clone his repository in our drive or in our working directory after cloning uh, we are change directory to yolo v5 we are we are moving inside the yolo v5 is trunk sort os net uh, that we cloned and then we are installing all the requirement files all the requirement packages right uh, then we are going inside the yolo v8 if i will show you where is the file okay we have cloned we have cloned this library we have cloned this uh, github repo right and inside yolo v8 we can see uh, there is a setup file yolo v8 model and everything that is related to yolo v8 uh, actually yolo v8 is an object detection model that came two to three weeks months ago so then we move inside the yolo v8 and we install the python 3.9 actually yolo v actually yolo v8 support 3.9 then we use this is script yolo actually we are training our model on custom and our custom data actually if i will show you the custom.yml file here custom data.yml if i print it let's say 
I'm showing you the custom data actually in PML file we mentioned our train data location or we can say the path and then our validation data path and we mentioned team 1 team 2 and team 3 uh, we can say using pyre and the ball so total number of class is 4 for the data that i am using if you are using any model of your own or if you are using car tracking or any other model then you can use the path of the, your training data and the path of your validation data and then you will use the number of classes and if you are tracking only car then we, you will mention ncs1 and names as car simple so that's all about the yaml file let's move again to our code so this line actually is used to train our model what we are doing we are training our yolo v8 this we are using this model yolo v8 and dot pt and on our custom data we are running for three poke and the image size is 640 cross 640 so after training our model for three poke we are again training our model actually in the above script i am now telling how to run our model from intermediate uh, you can say from saving the checkpoint right so it's saying that result is saved in this train to in this in this in this path so i am using our train to and inside train to i am using the weight and the model the model your yeah, best.pt file or last.pt file and again the data is the same custom ml.yml and for hundred epoch i am running now so here is the result after running hundred epoch and the result has been saved in train 7 All right after that our object detection model is now complete and we have used yolo v8 for that now this script is used to track the player the empire and the ball right python track dot py so we first we need to come to our main repository yolo v5 is trunk start or we can say we should come we have used yolo v8 to train our model then we come back to yolo v5 and then we are using the track.py file right so using track.py file we are using the weight of our object detection model uh, train 7 weights best.pt we are using and then dash dash source where our video file is placed so our video file is placed inside football player and backslash football dot mp4 mp4 and then we are saving the video after running after running the whole over the whole video tracking the whole tracking the player empire and the ball finally the result is being saved inside run track either exp2 and this is the final result that has been saved so this is all about yolo v8 object detection and strong start tracking thank you thank you